Hey friends, we're about to do some some junk journaling today. I got my materials. I got my glue gun. Some washi in there. Got our scissors. I kind of pre-planned this particular spread. But we're going to see what we can see. I got some just regular traditional glue. And then I have my hot glue gun because I might... Um, my exacto knife. I might, yeah, not I might. I have some thicker pieces that I know I'm going to have to um, use my hot glue gun. But I hope everyone is doing well. Um, these are my first couple lives, y'all. I don't go, well, I haven't went live on here a lot. So now I need to kind of see how can I read my comments if I'm on live, right? What's a good way to get on your device and watch? Can you watch your live from another device? So that's my question. This is my older iPad, and then I'm on an iPad. Good morning, y'all. I need to know, guys, can I watch my own live from another device? I just started going live, so I really don't know. But anyway, let me go to Instagram real quick, y'all, and let you know what we're going to be working on. I've pre-planned this particular junk journal spray because I wanted it to be real full. But if we head over to my Instagram, I'm hosting something called the August Junk Challenge. And that just means that for every day of the month, I've created a different prompt, okay? So today is August... Oh, today is actually August 2nd. I'm doing August 3rd. August 3rd is window view. Let me show y'all guys um, August 2nd. August 2nd, I already posted here on TikTok, and it was Sunshine and Sunflowers, and I really love how this one came out, guys. So, um, Sunflower is one of my favorite themes, so I used these Sunflower Girls. Um, that's a printable sticker kit from my shop. It's called... Um, Good morning, guys. Tap the screen. If you're in here, welcome. We're doing junk journaling. So... This is a printable sticker kit in my Etsy shop. It's called, what is it called? Oh, it's called Sunflower Safari. So you see I have the Safari pieces, the girls. Then I had these frames in my um, scrapbook stash from Simple Stories. So I threw those in. And then some ephemera and paper from my, just from my stash. And it came together really cute. So that's Sunshine and Sunflowers. I usually like to skip a page. Well, we don't necessarily have to skip. I guess we'll do it right here. But today we're working on window view, okay? So if you're in the room, tap the screen. I'm happy to have you guys here. I cannot really see. But if you comment, I'm going to stand up <laughs> and I'm going to be reading the comments because I don't know how to get on. If anybody's on here and you're like a TikTok veteran, see, I just um, passed the threshold of having more than 1,000 followers. So... This is only like my second time going live, but I need to know how can I watch my live from my other device? Is that like a thing or no? Anyway, y'all, let's get started. The theme is window view. And I was really pressed about this theme, right? Because I had some stuff in my stash that I really wanted to use. In particular was this window, little window piece from, um, the Dollar Tree. But anyway, I start all junk journal spreads with scrapbook paper or background paper to set the tone. This is actually some packaging from some vintage ephemera I had bought. So I just take my glue stick because it's very thin. It doesn't need my hot glue gun because like I said, it's, it's thin. And I'm just going to start by <clears throat> creating the background if you guys are leaving comments i am going to check those in a minute but welcome to my live guys like i said i haven't started setting goals and all that but i would love if you would tap the screen and if you enjoy yourself comment chat with me um like i said leave a comment tap the screen let me know where you're tuning in from on this beautiful wednesday i am in baltimore i live in baltimore maryland um so that's where i'm at so this one i can fold it back and see 
and I can cut that. These are like some of the best stationary scissors I've had. They get the really small details and they're from the company Archer and Olive. This journal is an 8x8. Eight eight. It's one of my favorites. It's like, it just gives you so much room to use your imagination and play around with. The journal is also from Archer and Olive. So if you're in the journaling community, you know Archer and Olive is a great company. And if you shop with them, use my code CPQ10. CPQ as in Crafty Planner Queen with a 10, one zero. Okay guys, so you know we're just kind of getting, I even like how I was getting the little wrinkles I'm putting it down because that's all just gonna give personality and that's what you want in your spread, okay? So then I'm just going to um, take some washi. I got like this vintage kind of washi just from my stash. I think somebody gifted this to me. And I'll just start to cover anywhere that I think could potentially be spaces. So I do a lot of different junk journaling, right? Sometimes I leave a neck, what we call negative space, but this is gonna be like a cover all the space type of spread. So that's the foundation, okay? And now we'll start to build build around it. Um, it's called window view, so like I said, I have a a window from I got this from Dollar Tree it's like a two pieces it's really like three pieces but this is what we're gonna start with this is kind of the centerpiece you know you always have a centerpiece and this is the centerpiece of our spread today so I'm gonna glue this down with my hot glue gun because this is a little bit thicker you can get a hot glue gun from any like craft store I even think the dollar store carries hot glue guns now the dollar store like Dollar Tree or whatever Dallas um, store you have around you, they have really st started stepping up. See, there's some space there, but that's okay because we're gonna layer it. So like I said, I wanna do um, a spread with no spaces, but if spaces do get in there, we're not gonna worry because we can always cover it. So then I think that's gonna be, is this gonna be the center of my window? Yeah, let's try that as the center. Of the window happy wednesday guys if you are tuning in please tap the screen please let me know where you're from i have been on tiktok for a while but it took me some time which i was like what's happening because i know that i have quality content but it took me some time to reach the 1000 follower mark but now that i have reached it i'm definitely going to try to be going live a lot more so this is the girl the whole theme is i want this girl to be kind of like looking out the window type of situation. So I'm thinking if I move her down, we can get into her like that, right? Yep. Once it feels right, I just glue it down. But I do stage, well, sometimes I stage. I came on here and I didn't stage last time. I just kind of free flowed and that came out pretty nice. But today I've already pre-staged my spread. So I know how it's gonna turn out but you guys don't so before i put the window down i have a little bit of back layering that i wanted to do these are all pieces like i said guys i've had them sitting in my stash and just haven't used them or didn't really know what i wanted to do with them but um follow me on instagram guys i am very very active on instagram that's where this that's where you can find this junk journal spread if you want to jump in yourself. It's called the August Junk Challenge. I host a junk journal challenge every other month. So not every month, but every other month. So follow me. My Instagram is craftyplanner underscore queen. Okay, I'm going to take a quick peek and see. New from Arizona. Hi, Scorpion Hunter. Thank you for joining my live. Please tap the screen. I hope you enjoy. All oh, my sisters here adore me. Hey, sis. Belly, hi. Just want to make sure I didn't forget. I did not see anybody's comments. Thank you for the roses. Hi, my guys. I'm just doing some junk journaling. I'm happy to have you guys. Okay, guys. So, are we ready to put the window in? And then there's going to be another space here. So I think, I think I'm going to do a floral 
a floor right there. This space, I'm going to do a floral. And these florals might pop up somewhere else. I like that pink, though. It gives a little contrast because this is a darker spread. Okay, so we're ready to put the window down. The window has some sticky on it already um, because the Dollar Tree kind of comes with that. But um, I put some more on there, of course. And then... How are we feeling about that? Okay, I'm gonna put it down. I initially wanted the girl to be a little lower looking out the window, but we get the point. And then if we wanna go in and cut like a couple of those blinds, we probably will to, OMG. <laughs> okay, this is when, I was like, hold on, something's not sitting right. This is when you are really junk journaling in the, in the zone and you don't realize. I put the window upside down, so essentially I wanted it over here. I was like, why is it covering so much of her face? But I put it upside down, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so what, the, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to go in there and snip those blinds. We're going to have to now just so we can see some of her face, okay? But let's keep creating in the meantime. I think I wanted this tag layered over here like underneath the chair, and then we can cut it, and then I had this other piece of ephemera I wanted to use. I cannot believe I put that window upside down like that. <laughs> but like I said, there are no mistakes when you are creating because you can always, and we'll trim that. You can always go back and change it. And I think I liked having this little quote about home. Should I tilt it? No, I want to keep it straight. It says home, the story of who we are. I like that. So if you just join in, we're junk journaling. The theme is window view, window view. And the window piece is actually from Dollar Tree. The doll is from my shop. That's Crafty Planner Queen over on Etsy. These are actually from the Dollar Tree as well. Dollar Tree has stepped up with their variety. I like how it's coming out because I wanted it to be a super layered, super junky spread. But wait till y'all see what we have that's gonna go over in this little corner. Super cute. I love mason jars. I'm like so like enamored by mason jars. So how would I think I want it to sit? I'm gonna have this gorgeous tag here that a friend actually made for me in a swap. And then we're gonna layer it with this amazing, gorgeous mason jar. Look how pretty that's going to be. OMG. Oh, we covered up the whole floral. We don't want to do that. We're going to slide it right there just so we can get a little bit of that floral. But isn't that gorgeous? Good morning. Is it uh, Ravon? Good morning, Ravon. Ravon says, I love this. Thank you. And thank you for the follow. So, guys, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Crafty Planner Queen, also known as Robin. And I am a journal and planner enthusiast. I have a printable sticker shop where I sell stationery like this, where you can create your own spreads. And I'm also a mental health therapist, and I always like to let people know the mental health benefits about junk journaling and about collage art. It's really good for anxiety. It's really good for depression because it's a mindfulness activity. Um, Bryson, thank you. Good morning, guys. It is a mindfulness activity, and as we pull together the pieces and layer and make mistakes and take things off and put things back, it calms our mind. So, I really appreciate you guys being here. Okay, so then now we're gonna go. And if you are here, please tap, tap that screen. So, other art lovers, journal lovers, and people can come into the live and experience with us this morning this tag i don't know what it's made of but it's a nice it's nice i like it okay junkiest journalist in here junkiest journaler is one of the people i follow early on my tiktok journey and i really like her stuff i wanted this little emblem to show too but the way i placed it ugh, maybe it's not gonna show but that's okay all right, we ready to glue glue our mason jar down? 
I think so. My friend Alicia. So I also, over on Instagram, I host swaps, like crafty swaps, where you can swap with someone and create in a theme and get it in the mail. It's for U.S. only, so we don't do a lot of international shipping, only because international shipping is so expensive. But if you're in the U.S. and you like, like you're a major crafter and you like swaps, good morning. Um, you should think about coming over to my um, my Instagram and getting into the swaps because that's what some people who are brand new to it, first you need the materials. You need stuff to get inspired by, right? Okay, guys, I love these layers. I know I did this spread pretty fast, but remember that I pre-planned it. So let me, let me show you a little hack. Well, first, let's finish, and then I'll show you a hack if you're going to get into it yourself or if you're already a junk journal and you want to do some some pre-creating you can do that before you glue everything down so like me i still made a mistake even though i um planned before but that's just part of the process i have some florals from live love posh she's amazing in the um, creative community she has great sticker books so we used one of her florals there but we had to cover it up and it didn't really show so i'm gonna pop a few more of those florals in. and like I said I like the contrast because it's like a darker spread but I like the contrast of those pink florals but they still can give a little vintage vibe and the white outline I'm liking all of that and then I think I'll take one and I'm gonna put it right off in the corner here and then we're gonna trim guys and once we trim I'm gonna talk to you about just more things about junk journaling and how it is great for your mental health. So like I was saying, if you just have one, I am a licensed therapist and I am a journal and planner enthusiast. My motto is Craft Plan Heal. I have Craft Plan Heal t-shirts over in my Etsy shop. And Craft Plan Heal, basically just what it sounds like, it means that there is a lot of healing and crafting and paper crafts and doing things with your hands as well as planning. I'm a huge planner planners some of my planners that I keep on my desk planners and journals kind of make my world go round and then this part is the it's the, f the fun part because I think when we become adults for some reason why do we feel like we can no longer do things just for fun everything becomes so serious about work and about bills and this and that you know but you still need fun you still need leisure Okay, guys, I don't know how my window situation is going to come out. Um, because what I did is... I took a couple blinds off. I'm thinking about snipping this part, too, and just leaving the window there and the blinds there. What do you guys think? Well, I'm saying what you think, but I already know it's bothering me, so... It's not ideally... I'm going to show you... When I pre-planned it, I mean, clearly, it still gives window vibes, right? She has the blind. She has this. She has the shutters, the florals around the shutters. But I'm so bummed <laughs> because somebody said no captions. What does that mean, wonder, wonder, let me, no captions? I don't know. I just started going live, y'all. I told you I just reached over a 1,000 followers not too long ago. Am I supposed to put captions? I didn't put any captions. I'm just in here working off vibes <laughs> okay so oh like i was saying i'm going to show you when i staged it how that window was supposed to look but it was also covered up most of her face so now she's definitely looking out the window and we can get into that let's trim let's trim the edges i have my tripod in a weird concoction so bear with me so like I was saying, these scissors are from Archer and Olive. I'm sorry, because I might have to take out the view to trim. And they get those nice little fine, intricate cuts. They are extremely sharp. I do like to do some fussy cutting um, with my printable stickers, which just means I don't always run things through the, well, I rarely run things through the cutting machine. I'm a fussy cutter, I like to cut. I also find cutting just like I do paper crafting to be very, very relaxing. But that definitely came out super, super charming. 
and the theme is window view and this is the august junk challenge you should definitely hop in like i said if you go over to my um i'm gonna show you all my instagram that's my instagram okay crafty planner underscore queen and every other month you'll see a post that looks something like this and we do a junk challenge and i do them every other month thank you junkish journaler thank you um i do them every other month because it's daily you're creating something for every day even though you can skip days if you want i just think that it can be overwhelming to drop it every month but um butterfly bliss was day one so let me show you guys my butterfly uh, bliss Oh, I turned the sound off because I don't know how TikTok is about Instagram sounds. But that's just me creating Butterfly Bliss, talking a little bit about butterflies. Like I said, I kind of pull everything into mental health. So kind of talking about metamorphosis and your cocoon will burst. Don't give up before your transformation. I also have a similar post here on uh, TikTok. And then day two was sunshine and sunflowers. I've already showed you guys that one. I'll flip back. Day two, sunshine and sunflowers. I was obsessed. You guys have to go on my TikTok page and see how I did the flat lay and just the edits. Oh, it was beautiful. And now day three is window view and I am living for window view, okay? And since you guys are here, I'm gonna definitely show you some more pages. Let me grab another journal. I want you guys to see what junk journal looks like in different dimensions okay this is an eight by eight i like eight by eight because and this is the journal this is from archer and olive really really pretty piper's art was the illustrator she collabed with archer and olive on this one um i like eight by eight because i feel like oh i need to trim some more i feel like i'm really able to tell the story with eight by eight hold on y'all about to hear my dog bark because i ordered doordash hold on you can leave it, thank you. Okay. okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I ordered my lunch before I have to start seeing clients and I ordered from DoorDash. My dog is going nuts. Hold on. We gotta get a better trim. That piece was really thick, so it's a little bit harder to trim. There it is. Okay, so like I said, that's the eight by eight dimension. This is more like the travel. <laughs> My sister, hey, Saint. You hear Saint? Yeah, he's he's going to show out if somebody comes by that door. Um, This is the traveler's notebook. So this is like skinnier, same, almost the same in height. Let's see. So the traveler's notebook, it's still about eight. Yep, a little bit over eight inches. This is an eight by eight, a little bit over eight, but it's only about what, four? Yep, four inches in width. So, let me show you what spreads look like in here. This is a really charming, charming journal um, dimension, too. And do dim does dimension matter? I think it does. I think you can tell a different story in different types. I wanted to show you guys one of my favorites. Well, that one was really pretty, but there was a tea time. I also create junk journal kits, guys, and I do ship worldwide. So, this was a tea time kit that I created and of course the, the the theme was tea time look how gorgeous that is now it's more flat so you see here we got more dimension the shutters pop out the mason jar this you know and that's a nice contrast to things that pop and things that lay flat this is actually everything laying flat but it's still really beautiful and you still get the story um let me show you something really different this was a pride theme total different vibes and i just use a whole bunch of rainbow stuff for my shop this was like a moon theme right i love moon and cosmic stuff i do moon journaling too but those are just a few and i'm also going to do some for august in here because i have space um so i'm going to play back and forth that's another thing you don't have to stay in one notebook because you started there you can really play around with it guys now this is actually my miscellaneous um mixed media and art journal let's show you guys some more spreads i just play around in this one so i wasn't even going to use this for august but here we are you can see i just come in i might be having a day and i'll just do a quick little collage 
like a collage of the day. Oh, this one was gorgeous. This is a vintage women's type of inspired theme. This was for International Women's Day. That's mostly Tim Holtz. If you're a junk journal, you know Tim Holtz stuff when you see it. Something a little bit more retro. I just love collaging. I love art journaling. This has been my most popular um, art journal page on TikTok so far. Uh, people, oops, people really seem to to like that. So with art journaling, is a little bit different. So people might ask the difference, and everyone's going to explain it to you differently. For me, when I art journal versus junk journaling, when I art journal, I'm trying to create a painting with pieces. So there is no, absolutely no paint. I didn't use any paint, but I have my backgrounds, my letters, my washi. I have things that look very paint-like or mixed media-like. So I'm really trying to create a painting with my pieces versus when I jump. It's just that it's more scrapbooky, you know? It feels like scrapbooking. Um, see, I uh, used art crayons and did this page just in case I want to go back and lay something on it. This is another one of my junk journal kits. It was called So Crafty, S-E-W, and it's just all about uh, vintage, like, sewing machines and stuff. That one was really pretty, too, but that's the gist, guys. Like I said, it is a great, great hobby to pick up um, if you are just looking for something to create and to feel free and to just put all your pieces out there. Oh, as promised, because I gotta go, I have to have lunch and then I have clients for the rest of the day. But I really did enjoy hanging out with you guys. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna try to come back this evening and I'll start planning my lives and putting them on my page about what time, but I'm just getting my feet wet with the lives. Okay, so this is what it looks like before anything was glued down. You see, this was just me playing around with it. You can do this, especially if you're new to junk journaling. Put everything on a page, take a picture of it, and then take everything off and create. You see how things change? This was the window right side up, but it's upside down. <laughs> um, I had, oops, I had this on a slant at first, but I decided to keep it straight. So that's why staging is good. Staging is good because you really get to play around with it a little bit more okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture because as a content creator you got to make everything be content so I created this here on live with you guys right so now I have to take a nice picture put a nice flat lay and I'll post this on my Instagram today and um I also post it on threads are you guys on threads I'm living for threads now let's talk a little bit about it I never ever was a um a twitter girl i just could not get with twitter it was not for me but threads i'm all about threads and i have a little followers i haven't been on there long at all somebody wants to live i don't know what that means when people want to join live i think people be playing so i don't let them join but it looks very much <laughs> like twitter but it's different it's it's just threads and you can just talk all day and you know my parents anniversary I posted that like whatever's going on oh there oh there's the flat lay I wanted to show you guys look how that turned out when I edited it and put it in the flat lay isn't that gorgeous omg that was so pretty all right guys well I'm your girl crafty planner queen thank you for hanging out with me I really really appreciate you guys being here thank you for the likes thank you for the follows thank you for all the taps I don't even know how to end live, <laughs> but I'm going to come back on here. Um, how do I end my live? These little three buttons. I'm going to come back on here later tonight, guys. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Wow. Thank you, sis. Thanks for coming on and supporting me. Y'all, I promise y'all I don't know how to end. How do you end this? Oh. <laughs> okay.